Okay, so let's say you've been in class, you've been working on the iPad, and you've had your Dropbox open, you have your email open, you have whatever document it is you're working on open. Um, now it's getting towards the end of class, it's time to pack up. I'm going to show you what you should do to keep your information um, and everything on the iPad secure. So the document that you were working on on, on on the iPad, you can leave on the iPad locally. That honestly doesn't matter. We'll go through and wipe that at the end of the year. There should be lots of memory. Um, but that's now should be uploaded into your Dropbox. So your Dropbox will have been signed in. So in here, so here's what we were working on in the last video. So now my, my Dropbox is signed in, right? But I don't want to leave my Dropbox signed in on this device because then the next person who comes and opens Dropbox just sees my Dropbox. It, 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 there's no automatic logout or timeout because it's a local application, right? So what we want to do is we want to go down to the bottom here and there is this gear, okay, down in this gray bar. It's probably hard to see, but there's a gear off to the right hand side, so we're going to tap on that and now this menu opens up, okay? With this menu, what we want to do is we want to go and hit unlink iPad from Dropbox, okay? So we get this big red button, we want to hit that. And yes, we do want to unlink the iPad. Because now what happens, so you see it's gone back to the home screen, and now we have to sign in again. So now whatever you had in your Dropbox is now locked up, right? It's not signed in on this device, and that's how we want to leave the iPads. That's what we want to see when we open up Dropbox. Okay? The other thing that you're probably in, or that you might be in if you've submitted something to Mr. Loach, is you might be logged in your email or you might be logged on to a Weebly site. So there's the link that I showed you in another video, and this is now in my Holy Spirit webmail. I don't want to leave this open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I sign out of my webmail as well. And there should be a sign out button in any mail application that you use. Sometimes it's a little bit hidden. If you're having trouble, come ask me and I'll show you. If you're in your Holy Spirit, your sign out is in the top right hand corner. And all we're going to do is tap that button. And there we go. Now we've been successfully signed out. Okay. Now if we go and we exit Safari, um, that when we go back into Safari, so I'll show you if we go back to Mail. So and this will be the same with Gmail, this will be the same with Hotmail, with Yahoo, etc. So now it's opened this page up because this is the last page we were on, but it's not logged in. It hasn't remembered the login. Okay, and that is ideally what we want when we get off the iPads.